watch this. That means Bishop Haskell, they can't obey you with a fucked the attitude. That means they weren't willing. That's right. Come on, man. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Attitude and obedience got to go together. Come on, man. So you have to be willing and obedient. Yeah. The Bible says, didn't they eat the good of the land? So the Bible says God spoke to him and said, get up and go to Zarephath. He went to Zarephath. Now what's crazy about it, first of all, he sends him to a widow, and widows are the brokenest people. Mm -hmm. Second of all, it's a famine. And then third of all, he's enemies with, with uh, uh, Jezebel, and Zarephath yeah. is her home. All right. So you told me to go to my enemy's home to a person that's literally broke right. to get my substance. Look at him. Woo. I wish somebody would expand their faith today. Yeah. Stop trying to figure God out. Woo. Stop boxing God Woo. into your little theology. Because God is almighty. He said, listen, he couldn't even describe himself. Moses said, who shall I say? He said, just tell him I am. Yeah. Jesus told the scribe, he said, listen, before Abraham was, I am. Uh-huh. He said, go to Zarephath. I commanded the widow. In other words, there's somebody that will respond to your call. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All we need, prophets and apostles, yeah. is just somebody that will obey the call. Yeah. Yeah. See, we judge the success of the meeting by the crowd. Yeah. But if God just says, right. that's person, right, come on now, that will obey his voice. Obey his voice, too. God will send one person that can underwrite the whole yeah. conference. Yeah. See, but we're too busy looking for crowds. Look at Brother Pete. Come on here. Mm -hmm. My Lord. First thing God told David, he says, don't you number them people. That's it. See, God spoke David said, don't you number them people. Uh -huh. Because that symbolizes you're counting on them. Mm -hmm. And I've always been your source. Yeah. I need to promise out of somebody tonight and tell them God's your source, not your job, mm -hmm. not that income. Your income is Jesus well, Christ. God yeah. is your source. Yeah. And he will sustain yeah. you yeah. if they go out of business. You will miss a beat. As a matter of fact, you will own two houses if they go out of business. Yeah. God is able. Yeah. 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 So watch this. Mm. Elijah gets to Zarephath. The Bible says that there's a widow there gathering sticks. He calls to her and he says, fetch me a glass of water. Now, most people underestimate the first command because they say water didn't mean nothing. But water meant a lot because water was scarce, too, because it had not rained. Wow. So that was a tough commandment off the breakaway. Mm -hmm. See, most people say, oh, the water didn't mean nothing because it was the mule that was tough. No, it was tough from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Because, see, here's the introduction that God does. When he introduces himself to you, he will always challenge you to come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so yeah. we always move, the Bible says that we move from faith to faith. Right. Well, she had faith to release the water, but now that wasn't enough. Now the Bible says I've got to challenge you again because your faith hasn't been stretched enough because God is trying to take you into a new dimension. Right. But you can't go into the next dimension with this kind of faith. You got to go into the next dimension with next dimension faith. Yeah. And so God's got to stretch you. So he said, give me some water, I pray for thee. And the Bible says she responded. And then he said, bake me a cake. And that's where we have the problem. <laughs> You've touched the no, 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 no. She did. Right. Because, see, I got enough faith to give you the water. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that cake. Mm -hmm. You see, sir, I've only had a little bit of flour and just a little meal. Now I was going to make this up, dress this up for me and my son. Watch this. We're going to eat it and die. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. That, that's our expectation. And that's a lot of the expectation of a lot of folk that come to church. They ain't got no real Amen. faith. They ain't got God for nothing. They just come on in here, the music fire up, they yeah. shout, they yeah. dance, yeah. and they walk out here and try to figure out what they're going to do. They scheme, they loud, they come talk to you because they don't trust God. Yeah. They lie to the social service office yeah. because they don't trust God. But I want you to let Jehovah be fire up in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Uh -huh. <laughs> He said, he said, he says, bake me. She said, I know. sir, as the Lord lives, this is all I have. Mm -hmm. But see, watch this. If he's connected too close to her, Apostle Cobb, he's going to sympathize with her situation. Well. And that's why sometimes y'all don't understand Apostle when she had to stand off sometimes. Because if she's too sympathetic to your situation, she won't challenge you the way God told her to challenge you. And then y'all will all die. Mm -hmm. wow. Mm. See, if, if, if Elijah said, oh, I, I understand that. I mean, it is a family. It is tight. When you go ahead and do what you was going to do, then him and her and the boy die. Mm. But he had to do, he had to walk and see. And I'm tired of all these piggyback.
feedback of people claiming to be apostles and they can't make real decisions and they can't direct folk and they can't set order. Oh. They sympathize with people running around here doing oh. stuff that God ain't say. He had to step in his apostles. Oh. After all of that, still do it. Still do it. Right. Right. Uh. You're going broke. You don't yeah. have nothing. Yeah. It's a famine. Yeah. But see about me first. Oh. Nah, nah, yeah. nah, nah, nah. Anyway. Uh. You can't be apologetic for what God told you. Oh. Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh. We, we listen to the cry of the people say, well, I'm not going to say that. The devil is a lie. Uh -huh. What did God say to well, you? God told Thank you to Lord. God told you to do. I thank God. See, for somebody else, mm. they can't come to Arkansas mm. in the backwoods yeah. and do what you did. Yeah. Right. Because they didn't hear God. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So even when they walk up in the church and yeah. say, oh, they ain't got God, nothing going on. You ain't got nothing to prove. Uh -huh. But they don't know. You just stepped into anointing of ownership. I know you're right. Amen. They don't know that. Oh. They kept my son. Yeah. They don't know that they're, they're from, from the highway of Detroit yeah, 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 yeah. to Arkansas. Yeah. He put a mantle on you for ownership. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why you can't touch it up there without opening it. Can't touch it? Nobody. You can't oh, speak oh, it without oh, oh, releasing oh, oh, it because he put a mantle oh, on you for your obedience. Jesus. Oh, Watch this. Challenge her. She surrendered. The, the next thing you read is the Bible says. She, he, and her son ate many days. Yes. Uh huh. It said the, the oil will never fail. That's right. Yes. <laughs> oh. See, it'll never fail if you just do what God told you to do. Yes. Yeah. It'll never go bad. God, how to about Numbers 23 and 19. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should lie. If he said, Shall you not? Chapter 55, verse number 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I send it to accomplish, and it will prosper therein. If God said it, no wonder. David said in Psalms 119, verse 89, Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. In heaven. Yes, Lord. I need somebody on earth to settle his word. Uh -huh. because, because when you settle his word, see, the Bible says, watch this, watch this. The Bible says, uh, uh, Deuteronomy, I'm sorry, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21, it mm -hmm. says that death and life is in the power mm -hmm. of the tongue. Now, but let's back up to verse 20. It All says, right. a man's belly shall be satisfied by the fruit of his lips. Yes. Amen. We always quote 21, but we miss 20. In other words, he says, a man's belly shall be satisfied by the fruit of his lips. Yeah. And then in verse 22 it says, and those that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. In other words, those that honor their words shall eat the fruit thereof. But yeah. over to Matthew. Y'all, I'm, I'm a yeah. right man. Yeah. 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 Okay, man. On, Matthew on. chapter 12, around the 34th verse, he says this, he says this, he says, watch this, watch this, he says this, out of the abundance of the heart, mm -hmm. the mouth speaks. Yeah. yeah. And then he goes down to verse 38. He says, uh, by your words, you will either be justified or you will be condemned. All right. But then in Romans chapter 10, uh, around the 8th verse, it says, but what sayest thou? Uh, who shall go into heaven? That is to bring the word down. Who shall go into the deep? That is to bring the word up. But it says, the word is very nigh unto you, even in thy own mouth, the word of faith which we preach, but watch this. But the Bible says, look at what it says. He says, for with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. salvation. Yes. Look at this, but down to verse nine, he says, but with the heart, man believeth yes. unto yes. salvation. Yes. So in other words, the word can't just be in your mind. It's gotta be in your heart. Amen. 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 He, Amen. Said, he said, thy word have I hid in my heart. So that I Door might home. not sin against you. Yes. Now, we know David did a whole lot of stuff that was wrong. So the sin he had to refer to was the greatest sin of God. That is to unbelieve God. That's the greatest sin you can do is to not believe God. That's right. The Bible says in Hebrews uh, chapter 4, uh, it says, And they entered not into his rest because of unbelief. That's why he says, Beware yeah. lest you fall into the same category. Why? Because they didn't believe God. Yeah. So they couldn't get out of the wilderness. God has got prophecy over your life, but if you can't believe the word of God, you will stay in a standstill moment. Yeah. But I come to prophesy to yeah. somebody that this is your season of overflow. Yeah. This is your season of more than yeah. enough. But you got to receive yeah. the word of God. Man. Receive. Yes, you got to receive.
receive it in your heart, not in your mind. Amen. That's why the word doesn't work for a lot of people. It's recycled and rehearsed, <laughs> but it ain't heartfelt. Well, it's what they can remember in their mind, uh, yes. but they don't got it in their heart. Oh, yes. Anybody can rattle off a scripture. Anybody can learn to record the yeah, scripture. Yeah, yeah. But do you believe what you yeah, say? Yeah. Is it on the door post here? Because watch this. When you believe what you say, faith has a sound in the atmosphere that the angels must respond to. Psalm chapter 34, verse 7, it says, and the angels are encamped around and about us. Hebrews chapter 1, verse number 3 says, are they not all ministering spirits all right. sent forth to serve or minister to the heirs of salvation? Angels are assigned to obey the word of God out of your mouth. Yes, Lord. But they don't obey fear. Well. And fear has a sign. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why God always responds to sign. Uh -huh. Yes, she did. That's why praise and worship is important. Yeah, yeah. God, yeah, yeah. Because God responds oh, to sign. Yeah, yeah. See, a lot of folks, they're speaking the word. Yeah, yeah. But they don't have the sign. Mm -hmm. Because they're speaking with fear. Come on now. They're speaking with doubt. Ah. Mm -hmm. They're speaking with uncertainty. Yeah. They're cramming no weapon, but they're fearful. Mm -hmm. Well, first thing Jesus did when he stepped on a lot of scenes, read all through the gospel. First thing he says, be not afraid. All right, preach, come on. Come on. Preach. Be not afraid. Uh, Take because time, say that. What did the Bible say? It says when he got to Nazareth, it said, and he could do not many yeah. miracles there because of their unbelief. Yeah. This is God, not of us in the flesh. Uh -huh. But he can't work with your unbelief. Can't do it. Right. See, a lot of times we just get scared. Can't do it. First thing he says, fear not. Yeah. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 15, for you will not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you will receive the spirit of adoption when I be quiet. Mm -hmm. Our Father, you will receive the spirit of adoption. Yeah. Yeah. You've been adopted into the royal family. First Peter chapter 2, verse number 9. But you are a chosen generation. A holy priest, a holy nation. You've been, you've been, you are the holiness people, peculiar people. You've been brought out of darkness. Into the marvelous life. light. Oh, yes, like who are once not the people, but are now the people of God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies, can eat of my flesh, they stumble yeah. and fail. Yeah, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes. They'll cut me in one way, but God will raise a stand and they got yes. to flee seven different ways. That's the word. Amen. Amen. Can I tell you something? I'm almost through. Yes, yes. Say it, say it. When I hit the pulpit today, the Lord said, I want you to just walk through the word. Don't see, don't have no, don't be having no rehearsal, nothing. Okay. See, we gotta learn how to just flow with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. I ain't trying to win no awards for preaching <laughs> because the word was delivered. Amen. See, and you preaching if you carry the gospel. Amen. Amen. Preaching ain't just oh, nah, we can All do right that too, now. but everything has its time. Yes, sure does. But see, we need fundamentally sound teaching yes. so that the soil, which is your heart, can receive the word and then it can produce in your life. Yes. All right. Saint All John right. chapter. 15, verse number 7, he said, if you abide in me, I and abide, I abide, in abide you, in you, you can ask what, what you will, and it shall. And it shall. Oh, now, can I tell you something? Christ is disgraced about the brokenness of his body. Mm. That's good word, sir. That's good word. Christ is disgraced mm -hmm. by the brokenness of his body. Mm. Explain, sir. Help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. The saints are the brokenest people they broke. Yes, sir. They broke. And they're justifying it. Ah. People say things, and I, I help me, Holy Ghost. I don't want to get on to step on everybody's toes. Teach it. But God don't got to have you broke to teach you nothing. No, That's not. right. Amen. Well, why back that up, Apostle? Mm -hmm. The Bible says, watch this, watch this. 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse number 9. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet he, he became, became poor. poor. So you, through his poverty, well, might become, become rich. rich. Your poverty died on Calvary. Yes. So he yeah. ain't trying to teach you nothing. That's the trickery of the devil mm -hmm. trying to help you accept being broke. But I'm going to get that spirit of poverty right now. The devil is alive. I've designed you to be wealthy. Yes. Chapter 1, 12, verse 3. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we don't have enough people, Apostle Haskell, mm -hmm. that will live by the system of God and not the system of the world. Yes, Amen. The world system, you trade labor for dollar. Yes, yeah. Yeah. 
in God's system, mm -hmm. you sow seed and reap harvest. That's, what, that's right. Yeah. So that's technically, right. when you learn how to live by the kingdom, yes. watch make this, it watch plain, this. sir. Make it plain. You don't go to work now to make a living mm -hmm. because Christ already made your living. Yeah. That's right. If He afforded you a secular job, mm -hmm. you go to work for your seed. Yeah. Amen. And then when you get your check, you talk to God about what direction it goes. That's right. So we get our check. We say, "Oh man, that check spit before I get it." Huh? Huh? Uh, yes. Because you ain't talked to God. Uh -huh. You just started making plans to pay bills. Uh -huh. But you ain't working to pay no. bills. Jesus paid the bills. So yes, but if you know how to receive it, mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter two, verse number nine: For by grace you are saved through faith. Mm -hmm. It is the gift of God. Mm -hmm. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Watch yes, this. Yes, it is the gift of God. Can I help you with something? We are, we love to quote, but the gift and callings of God are without repentance. Yes. And that's the yes. scripture we use to, to justify when people that can operate in the gift mm -hmm. don't really live up to the standard mm -hmm. of that, what they're supposed to live. So we say, well, you know, the gift and callings without repentance. But God is not just talking about that. He's saying the gift is without repentance. What is the gift? The gift is grace. Mm -hmm. Well. So he graced you. And he doesn't repent for grace, nor does he take grace back. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Grace is yours forever. Mm -hmm. And so since grace is yours forever, that is the ability to prosper. Right. That is favor on your life. Right. The Bible says, watch this, watch this. Help me. Give me some word. Okay. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. For the blessing of the Lord, it make it rich. And, and he addeth no, no sorrow. sorrow. Well, what is the blessing? What is the blessing? What is the blessing? What is the blessing? It is the unmerited favor of God. Watch this. That God spoke over your life in Genesis chapter 1, verse number 26, when he said, and let us make man in our image and in our likeness and let them have dominion. And then when he made them in the text, in verse 28, he says, be fruitful, multiply, have dominion. And the Bible says, and God blessed. Them. See, when you, upon your creation, he put the blessing on your life. But the Bible says, watch this, Matthew chapter 7, verse number 7. You have not because you That's not. Nice. That's it, son. That's it. Mm. You don't have it because you don't know to ask for it. Ah. And when you ask for it, you ask, I'm so unworthy, Lord. Yeah. When you call it Jesus a liar, you say you're unworthy. Yeah. Because the Bible says in, in Romans chapter 5, verse number 1, therefore being justified by faith, faith, we have peace with God and access into this grace where we stand. Can I tell somebody, you standing in grace right now. Amen. So since I'm standing in grace, Hebrews chapter 4, verse number 12 said, let us come boldly to the throne of grace. Yes. We're at a time of yes. find help in a time of need. You got grace in your time of need, yes. and you can come boldly because you got a yes. right to ask for. Yeah. Ah. Stop going to God with your head down crying. What you crying for? That's it. Come on here. I'm a royal priest. Yeah. You're favored. Yes, You're the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Ooh. Yes. You ain't got to beg God for nothing. He already gave it to you. When he hung his head on Calvary and said, it is finished, it was over. Mm. Everything from here on out, you just got to receive it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. By faith. Oh, yeah. That's it, sir. That's it. That's it. By faith. Mm. That's it, sir. Oh, it's grace through faith. Hallelujah. Man. It's because of his grace, but grace is received by faith. Mm -hmm. yes. So if I believe in what God did, in the eternal work of Calvary, then all I got to do is simply accept it. You're righteous, watch this, not because you think you live holy, because your righteousness, watch this, is filthy rags. See, your attempt to be holy only frustrates God. Mm -hmm. Because us at our best, we come short. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Amen. Oh, help me, y'all. I'm yeah, trying to yeah, act holy. Yeah. You didn't. You had an impure thought today. Yeah. You said something you wasn't supposed to say yeah, today, right. or yesterday, or last week. But see, you're not righteous and you're not holy because of an action. You're holy because Christ became holy for you. Oh, so thank you. Thank you. Christ will live through you, and Christ will make you holy through Him. Therefore, if any man be in Christ. Yeah. Uh -huh. He is a He's new a new creature. creature. I'm not a new creature outside of Christ. I'm a new creature in Christ. Yeah, that means man. everything that I do, I do it by faith. In him, we live, we move, and we have our being. Amen. 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 I'm going to. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank it, you. That's it, sir. That's it, sir. The enemy wants to sabotage what's going on here. Yeah. I liked what Apostle said today. She said, sometimes when you get out of the country and you ride, 
God gives you fresh vision. Yeah. He gives you insight. Yeah. Regardless to what happens economically, because God will meet the need. Yes. 